big game of the day. That is Ethiopia Nebuna up against Bahir Da City. A match that has rich history on its own. Uh, two sides that uh, last season finished with rather sharing spoils, both at first round and the second round. The Ethiopian Pune supporters forever wearing their traditional yellow with the maroon on the side, forever in song, not taking away anything from the Bairda City fans. Player to look out for now, Paulin and a bicycle kick. An early acrobatic move already. Sending a clear message with his uh, movements. Great first charge as well from Osei. He was also just unsettled by the two players that are coming closer to him. And rather late. But good move and a good attempt to try and get the ball closer in. Now chance in for Ethiopian opponent. Dispossessed quickly. Now another movement building up. Abdul Karim just couldn't uh, get himself uh, getting the shot in. It's more of a 50-50. The play in the centre, it's of Bruku Peini also in the final third trying to put pressure. Now ball back into play for this chance of the header now. It was a forward Fereja was trying to get a header in. Just after this moment, lost his player but while he was trying to get the technique right towards goal, the ball was brought back into play by Churisa Shubisan, get it, got a cross in. I uh, forward Ferrech has struggled to get a proper header in it. Now a chance in as the ball is played now. Ferrech out the hit! Gets it right! As uh, Ferrech well positioned, making his third goal of the season. As well positioned as well. Good layoff from Mauli Osei. Has uh, been beaten up by this man, Fuad Fereja, adding to his uh, goal scoring tally, making it three this time around. Has a long range pass in all the way to find Churisa. Seems to have been offside though, but the flag stayed down. Uh, the combination play as well that came out of it. More of, uh, players in the center. Lost position of the ball while they were trying to clear it. The likes of Kweku, but Fereja was well positioned. Assist with the offensive and the now ah, a missed kick that almost resulted into a non-goal my goodness here it's Paye and it would have caught the keeper off guard as well no oh, pass played in we still now a chance for to make it two that's the new man himself uh, as it fits him Tadisi who's uh, made it two in this match well, stretching the lead is one of the important things when you've got the lead as uh, Bayerda City have uh, come alive at second half. Continue to just uh, take good care of Ethiopian Pune. And the finish from uh, Fitzan Talun. Now Fereja with the Tamiran and a hit and deflects, goes out. Deflection rather looked promising. The hit as well, just the deflection. Now a penalty has been given for Bayerta, against Bayerta to Ethiopian Bunner after that incident in the box. Well, no, don't believe it, but Yared Baye was the culprit. Tekli Mikael versus Gabri Mikael. And Tekli Mikael makes it just one goal in. It's his man as a Robel Tekli Mikel quickly fetches the ball from the, the goal post and uh, makes his way back to the center, giving away a, another chance to Ethiopian Puna. Ball in! Keeper with a touch. But uh, whistle has gone off for a goal kick after a push. I'd rather there was no contact on him. I don't know why the ref, no obstruction, no. Rather there was a, an arm from Yaret Baye that was blocking him. Asma Mo pits two men, tries to tuck it, and his penalty has been given. That's a penalty. He top in Pune, there's the initial kick, and then they pulled him back. Just when he got into the box, he got pulled by Robel Tekli Miken. There's the right arm, just uh, holding him. Yaret Apai. Apai with power in it, beats the keeper. Convincingly so, that is Yaret. Before he could take a hit in and uh, got a penalty, 
And Yaret, cool, calm, and easy with composure as well. In this match, it's Pahirta 3, Ethiopian Puna 1 at full time.